Thank you, Jeremy. An annual cross-country motorcycle ride honoring America's military veterans came through Topeka this morning. 13's Phil Anderson caught up with some of the participants as they took a quick break just east of the capital city. More than 250 motorcycle riders from across the United States made a quick stop in Topeka on Monday morning as they continued their run for the wall. Several organizations came together to purchase fuel for the bikers and provide them with refreshments at the Kansas Turnpike's Topeka service area along Interstate 70. The Run for the Wall is an annual event that brings motorcycle riders together as they cross the United States en route to Washington, D.C., where they will honor veterans on Memorial Day weekend. Many of the participants who rolled through Topeka on Monday morning started a cross-country trip last Wednesday in Ontario, California. They're scheduled to arrive this Friday in the Washington, D.C. area. Many of the riders take part in Run for the Wall every year. For Dan Gilman of Evansville, Indiana, this marks the third year he's participated in the event. Well, we're a big family. Uh, we get together, we ride for those who can't. That's our mission statement. Uh, there's a lot of people, whether they're wounded or killed in action, that's what we ride for. We make sure everybody remembers that, that we are here and, and we haven't forgot about the, the ones who didn't make it back. This year marked the 10th year for Alfredo Gomez of Bolin, New Mexico. I always say, God willing, every year, if I'm able to, I'll be on this ride. What brings you back this year, Alfredo? Uh, the camaraderie ship and the honor in what we do, riding for those that, that are no longer with us, that made that ultimate sacrifice, bringing awareness to our POWs, our MIAs, and supporting these Gold Star family members. A number of participants, like Sonia Amon of Tucson, Arizona, have personal stories that motivate them to take part in the Run for the Wall each year. For Amon, this is the 17th year she's participated in the event. I ride for Keith Matthew Moppin and he was taken prisoner for four years and his family didn't know what was going on with him. And I can't imagine being that family member back home, not knowing. And so I ride, he's been now, his remains have been recovered, but there's thousands who have not. And so I ride for those who can't. Reporting from just east of Topeka, Phil Anderson, 13 News. The bikers cover 300 to 400 miles a day, traveling east to the nation's capital.